I want to do more today than I did yesterday. Progressive overload, right? Lifting weights. <laughs> there you go. But yeah. from a life perspective, okay. I want to run further. I want to run faster. It's mm -hmm. more. And by feeling good and exercising on a regular basis, my mindset is going to stay on the path to doing more. Welcome to Only the Greatest Podcast. If you're feeling stuck and unsure what to do next in your fitness journey, we might be what you're looking for. My name is Philip. I own and operate OTG Fitness, which is a private personal training gym on the south side of Houston in Webster. I do this podcast every week with my best friend, Daryl. We've been friends since third grade and working out together ever since. Also joining us today will be Sean. He's the one that makes this podcast not only sound great, but look good as well. Our goal here is to help Houston make its way up the ladder of health and fitness. So if you're in the Houston area and ready to become the greatest version of yourself, be sure to like and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. All right. Well, uh, how do we start? Man, I don't know. With this, with this <laughs> brand new intro that you guys probably just seen, um, not probably the new intro that y'all seen. I mean, it's like we don't even know what to do with all this extra time I we know. have now. So it started. Yeah, yeah. We just ran the new intro, and it looks great. It talks about uh, what OTG is about, mm -hmm. the people we're trying to reach, the message we're trying to convey. Yep. I think it, I think it looked good, man. Yeah, I, yeah. I love it, man. It really it hit me hard. I sent it to... Uh, I sent it to Denver yesterday. I didn't send it to anyone else, though. Dang. I figured we could just kind of yeah, let kinda. it roll out. And then um, I figured I'd take just a quick minute here just to chat with everyone about, you know, what our that message means. And, you know, we're really focused here currently on health and fitness in Houston. You know, there's uh, a, a lot of people right here in Houston that either need help, want help, that we can touch and that we can change their lives. I'm very proud of where I come from. I love Houston. I love Texas. I love America, all that, all that kind of good stuff. And here in our city, we have so much pride. You know, um, I, I'm very proud of it, like I said. And I think that there's no reason that we can't just focus right here where we are and become the go-to source of health, fitness, personal training, right here in Houston. And yeah. that's, that's our goal here. And this podcast is going to help us do that. We want to bring solid information to Houston, um, help it get up the ladder of health and fitness. Unfortunately, Houston is uh, pretty low on the totem pole yeah. when it comes to health and fitness in the United States. And mm. uh, I think that we can be a big part of changing that. The and food's that, too good, man. It is. That the is what's is tough about right good. here in Houston. If, <laughs> um, if you're listening to this and you live, you know, in the Houston area, you know, there's a lot of diversity here. There's a lot of culture. There's a lot of different foods. Yes. And sir. it is very difficult to say no to it all the time. And you don't have to say no to it all the time. That's what we want to get out. But there has to be, uh, I don't like the word balance because when you use the word balance, like if you look at a balance beam, you have to take away from one thing to give to another. Mm. So I don't like to use the word balance. I've always liked moderation better. Yeah, moderation yeah, is a good word. There's uh, nice. Yeah, there's a way to enjoy good food and, and things like that while also exercising, taking care of your health, you know, um, and, and things like that. And I think that kind of is a good way to kind of lead into the topic of conversation for today, um, which is, you know, it, finding what success in fitness means to you because mm -hmm. to each person it's going to be different you talk to one person and they're going to say well for me to be successful in fitness i can't eat any bad food i can't eat anything fried i can't eat any bread and if that's the decision they make i'd probably try to take a minute to talk them out of that but if that's the decision that they made and they're committed to that's okay that doesn't have to be your version of success though yeah right true, everyone's a little bit different i think it's very easy for people to become influenced by what other people say. Uh, has that ever happened to you? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, as far as, yeah, being influenced by others, yeah, I, I started going to the gym more because someone said I looked a little fat in a shirt that I shouldn't have been wearing. So it's like, yeah, definitely. Well, I've that kind of moved in a, in a positive direction. Yeah. Do you, do you feel like you've ever been influenced by someone 
and then looking back, you're like, man, I shouldn't have let that. When it know, comes affect- when it comes to fitness, mm-hmm. um, yeah. Man, not really, no. not really. I guess because um, I, probably if I had like a more sport background, probably okay. so. Um, yeah. As just kind of like the casual, more of like a casual gym goer, I guess. Not really. I I kind of, I've never really been one to like ego lift, especially like more re- like recently. I just try to stick in my own lane. I'm like, okay, well, I mean, if I'm doing um two plates on this one thing and that's mm-hmm. just what i'm doing I, I just that's what i'm doing that's what feels comfortable with me and i'm gonna move that in a in a place that feels good to where i also feel like i'm getting that growth and i'm not trying to you know like rip rip my quad out to do something you know so i don't know i guess that's kind of what i've uh, what i've thought about when it comes yeah, to fitness. now that that's great and the unfortunate thing is not everyone thinks as clearly as you and as defined in that case because uh, remember, obviously at OTG, we do personal training, right? So mm-hmm. we talk with people individually and help them kind of define what success is for them. Mm-hmm. And what I hear a lot of is, well, my brother did this. Oh, uh, yeah. And yeah. my neighbor did that, right? And so now they're comparing their own journey to someone else's. Mm-hmm. When the only person you really should compare to is your own potential. Because everyone's unique. Very true. Right? And everyone's past influences their future, whether you want to admit it or not. Let's use, for example, somebody called you fat, right? Mm -hmm. So that made you want to start working out. Yeah. Exactly. So (laughs) because of that, you're probably always going to have this little thing in the back of your head that makes you feel like maybe I need to, maybe I could lose a little bit more weight. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, for sure. But if someone grew up underweight, they're going to have a different outlook. Yeah, yeah, So you shouldn't compare yourself to that person. Yeah. I see a lot of comparisons online too. Like, um, Mm -hmm. of course, being in the fitness industry, you see a lot of that on across all your social medias, Instagram, TikTok, whatever. And I'll get into the comments and you see people be like, oh my God, I wish I had your body. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, man, that's, it's just not that easy, you know? And um, you just got to understand that what that person's doing, what he or she is doing, isn't always going to work for you. Yeah. And and what it takes for that person to get there. Yeah. You want the body, but if you knew what it took to get there, you might reconsider. Yes. Right. And I'm not saying that, um, that you shouldn't have big goals. That's not what I'm saying at all. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure that each person's goal is associated with something they actually want and not something else they see someone else have and yeah. think that they want that, right? It's very yeah, important um, to define your own success. And, like, um, I'll talk about what I define as success here in a second. But why don't you tell us, Sean, what is your version of success when it comes to fitness? My right? version when it comes to success and fitness is um, not increasing pant sizes every year. Okay. Uh, not increasing, not increasing clothes sizing just in general. Okay. Um, being able to be mobile and, um, you know, go up a flight of stairs, just, I guess, live through life with less like just stress on your body. And it's more like other things, you know, like, I mean, if you have stress in other places, that's fine, but it's like, yeah, just walking up the steps and you're like winded, that kind of sucks. You know, you have to, I'll, uh, you know, I'm uh, at a, at a wedding shooting a wedding i don't want to be just like worn down by the gear that i'm carrying that that kind of sucks <laughs> mm-hmm. you know not being able to bend down tie your shoes or whatever not being able to run after your like nephew or your kids or something that seems like it would kind of suck so i guess just being um able to eat right and just feel good all the time without a whole bunch of extra like pill like Like, you know, I take vitamins, but, you know, medications and all this other stuff, like a more natural, like holistic way. I think that's success in fitness to me. Yeah, I love that. And if you're listening to this, you'll notice that not once did he talk about having bigger biceps or having a six pack or anything like that. Those things are great. And if that's your goal, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But uh, what you're saying here, in my opinion, will help someone be more, will help you stay uh, sustained over this over a long term because everything that you just named is long term things and things that spark an emotional response. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's cool to look at yourself in the mirror, but it's another thing to actually be able to chase after your nephew, like you said. Yeah. And yeah, go yeah. up and down a flight of stairs and still feel fine and not be winded by it. And I think that those are great results. And do you feel like 
the the things that you're following in your life are moving in that direction? So, so I, I have times I have ups and downs, you mm-hmm. know, there's days where it's like, or there's like days, weeks, however, there's uh, seasons, you sure. know, where it's yeah, like, Oh man, I'm, re- I'm really on top of it. Really on top of my diet. It really, the, the thing that gets me, you talked about food earlier is diet. That, mm-hmm. that part is very, very tough because the convenience of uh fast food is, is just top tier. It's like the, the, the taste isn't always there. And it's like, man, you don't feel the greatest afterwards. But like, man, the fact that you could just like go press a couple buttons and you pull up to Chick-fil-A or choose wherever and you just have your food. That's pretty, it's pretty nice. It's kind of hard to beat that. So, um, yeah, right now I think that I am doing well. I'm doing okay at it. I can definitely do better. I think I'm probably like 70%. And um, I think diet is such a big part of it that I think that that can be another 30 or 20% of the hundred percent scale of doing yeah. good. You know? Yeah. I mean, I think that you're in a, a pretty good spot for sure. Like you're saying, it, it could be a little bit better, kind of mm-hmm. clean up a couple little things. Mm-hmm. And for sure there are seasons. If I would have asked you this six months ago, you might've said, yeah, I'm on top of it. Everything's perfect. Yes. But just because you're back a little bit now, you're not beating yourself up or anything because you just look back to, well, this is what I'm defining as success. I'm still exercising. I'm still working out. I'm staying positive. I'm still looking forward to my goal of not going up in pant sizes. I'm still looking forward to my goal of getting up and down the stairs well and and feeling good. Mm -hmm. And uh, something that you said that really resonates with me, and if I were going to put my version of success in one big overarching statement, it's to feel good. That is just the most important thing to me. And I've noticed that when I feel good, I'm going to do everything else anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) If I feel good, I'm going to get my runs in. If Mm -hmm. I feel good, I'm going to hit PRs on my lifts. If I feel good, I'm going to make good food choices. If I feel good, I'm going to wake up early, attack the day, and I'm also going to get to bed on time so I can do it again tomorrow. Exactly. And, uh, you know, that that's the simple version, Mm -hmm. right? I guess the longer version, uh, is to, allow myself to continually do new things. That's what I feel like I use fitness for. I want to do something tomorrow or even today that I didn't do yesterday. I want to do more today than I did yesterday. Progressive overload, right? Lifting weights. (laughs) There you go. But from a life perspective, I want to run further. I want to run faster. I want to ride my bike for, I want to lift more weight. I also want to um, get more clients. It's Mm -hmm. more. And by feeling good and exercising on a regular basis, my mindset is going to stay on the path to doing more, to opening more gyms, to taking over Houston from a personal training perspective, to have multi-locations, to grow a staff and a team that allows us to be the face of personal training in Houston, right? And it's fitness that allows me to feel good and now I can go pursue all of these other things. Exactly. And, yeah. you know, it, it, a lot of times I think that when you talk to someone about what their version of success is when it comes to fitness, all they think about is losing weight and lifting more weights or, or looking like a certain other person. Looking a certain way, especially, yeah, like another person. You, what yeah. do you mean? Like, I want to look, they pull out their phone and they go to Instagram and they go to their favorite celebrity and they're like, this is what I want to look like. Yeah, I want to look like this certain Instagram influencer or something like right. that. Right, yeah. Like, yeah no. Which if, in my opinion, I don't think there's anything wrong with that in the beginning, but I would recommend if you've been at this for more than a couple of months and you're looking for that deeper motivation you should probably think a little bit deeper than just trying to look like someone else. Yeah. Right. And and really take it upon yourself to make your own personal goals that will help you achieve success because keeping your mind right and being able to stay disciplined. I can tell you that when you feel good and things are going well, discipline is much easier. Yes. Yeah. Right. Very true. Because I I agree. Yeah. what, what, What I see a lot of is so many people rely on their discipline probably too much and and then and eventually it, it gives out so you need to find things that you actually want mm-hmm. right it's good to have discipline you need discipline don't get me wrong that's not what i'm saying at all but at the same time if you're constantly challenging yourself with something you don't want truly you internally don't want this thing you're eventually going to give out 
and my best comparison that I can come up with off the top of my head as we're talking about this, something that I see people do a lot of, especially when they're trying to lose weight, is they withhold food from themselves all day. Mm-hmm. They're relying on their willpower to not eat so much. They're like, ah, I, can, I think I can skip breakfast. Uh, I, I think I can skip lunch. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm a little hungry, but I'm... And then eventually it comes nighttime, 9 p.m. And they're going crazy. Ravenous. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they're going wild. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and yeah. so the, the point of what I'm trying to get across is you need to be disciplined. You should have good willpower and strength. But if you're relying on it 100% of the time, And not falling back on your values and the things that you truly want out of this journey, uh, eventually it's probably going to fade. Yeah, it's kind of like that uh, going back, uh, going back to like finding your why. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why do you do this? Why do you want to do all this? And I had something in my head and I forgot, but you can go, you can go on with the next thing. I I was thinking of something and I totally forgot what it was. It's cool. I I just thought that, um, you know, I think that it's interesting that you and I both, uh, while things are different, you know, for our, for our what we version as of success, there are a couple little similarities with, with feeling good, you know? I just remembered what it was. Okay, now. go ahead. So, yeah, the reason, um, like, earlier, the reason I didn't say, like, really anything about actual, like, growth, like, physically, because mm-hmm. um, it'll it'll just it'll just come. If I'm, like, oh, if I'm good with all the other things, like you were saying earlier, um, all that'll just come. It's, like, if I yep. want a bigger chest and I'm consistently going to the gym and I'm feeling good, like you said, um, it's going to come. If I want abs and I really dialed in that diet and I cut back and I stayed in a caloric deficit like I should, ran like I should, then that'll come too. Like it'll all come, but it's just like the other parts are a lot more important than me trying to like look a certain, certain way. Yeah, I I think that you nailed it when you mentioned the why thing. It's Mm -hmm. like, have you heard like the five layers of why? You just keep asking yourself why five times Mm -hmm. until you eventually you get to like, well, why? Well- you say, why do you want to work out? Because I want a bigger chest. Well, why do you want a bigger chest? And then if you do that long enough, you'll eventually get to that oh, feel good okay. kind of thing. You just keep yeah. asking yourself why, you know, and kind of the reason that we're talking about this today, the reason we're doing this podcast is we want to help people realize that deeper part of the whole equation. Mm-hmm. You know, um, it's cool to, to look good, but it's better to feel good. Yes. You know, and um, I, I think those are the main points that I wanted to cover. You know, um, Sean, do you have anything else you think we should add to this? Nothing really, man. Just, um, I guess do the things you know, when it comes to, you know, fitness as well as the importance. I think this doesn't only apply to fitness, no, but it's like, um, the importance of doing the things that you want to do to push you forward in whatever you're doing, even when you don't want to do them. Like, so it's like, Let's say you don't want to stay up late working on a fitness plan. It's like, man, but if I do it now, oh man, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be super happy. This is gonna pay dividends later. Man, I don't feel like editing editing these photos or whatever. Man, if I do it now, it'll really pay dividends later. You know, I I guess you can kind of think of it like that. So doing the thing, doing the hard shit even when you don't want to do it. Yeah, I agree hundred percent. And yeah. it is very difficult. And sometimes yeah. you have to think about, well, if I don't do this thing then I might not feel good tomorrow. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. and you remember the goal is to feel, feel good. good. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I think that's a, a, a great point to kind of wrap it up and to keep things in mind that, yeah, sometimes you might not always want to, but if you have this deeper meaning of why you're doing it and the things that you're doing actually align with, you know, success in your own life and you truly want success. Mm-hmm. And if you don't want success, awesome. But you're probably not listening to this podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very true. <laughs> if you do true. want success, then we need to do the things that we truly want and that we truly need to do to reach that over time. There you go. So, yeah. Is that like a play on words? Feel good? Feel good? Feel no. Never thought about it. <laughs> it can be. Yeah, it can be. Yeah. I don't know. There you but, go, man. Uh, I was wondering, man, how are we, we going to have a closer too? Or is the music going to come back in now? Or like, what's going on? Dude, I don't really know. I mean, I guess we could have the music come back. Who knows? I mean, we have this new intro all this time. Yeah, I know. No no more. So, yeah. What if I closed it out with the old one, just like saying goodbye? (laughs) There you go. (laughs) But I I don't know. Well, guys, um, like, subscribe. Uh, We come, we do this podcast every week. We feel like we can really make a difference here in the Houston area, Uh, do something big. We want people to enjoy their fitness journey. Uh, we want uh, OTG, only the greatest, 
to be associated uh, with Houston Health and Fitness. That's what we're here for. So guys, if you need help with anything, make sure you let us know. Um, Share with your friends. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.